Hey friends, so if you're a songwriter or composer, you know the importance of creating a good lead sheet. Um, and there's three ways of creating lead sheets that I know of. One is the sort of traditional way where it looks something like this. Uh, you kind of have a chord scribbled out on a piece of paper and maybe even some notes written in. Uh, the next way is if you have like a Google uh, Doc and you print out your lyrics and then you write scribble the chords above each of the words. Um, both work, but they're a little bit sloppy. Uh, I want to show you a third way to create chord charts that are really professional looking and can be done really quickly using Studio One. Let's jump in. Okay, so I'm inside of Studio One and the first step is to set up your chord track and your lyric track. Um, so your chord track is located up top up here. You can access it by clicking this little drop down menu and then just selecting chords. Now the chords track is really, really cool. I've done a few other videos on it, but basically it detects as it's going by the chords in the song. So you can do that by either clicking on each one and then you can change the chords like that, or you can literally drag a MIDI track. So let's say you were to drag this um, piano track, you drag it right into the chord track and it will automatically create all the chords from based on what's on the MIDI track. So that's really, really powerful. And if you go to play your song, and I just open this up. It kind of follows along with the chords. So that's really cool. So that's the first step that you need to do. The second thing is to add your lyric track. You access it the same way with this drop down menu up top. And what it does is um, it will attach lyrics to your song and to your project the same way as the chord track, and it will automatically play your lyrics along with your song as well. So to add the, the lyrics in, you just click the edit mode up here, and you can copy and paste in this section all of the lyrics for your song from a Google document. Um, and then when you go to play your song, let's go to like where the lyrics come in, and I can just click on the lyric. Seems like every day I need you more. Each day a little more than before. So it'll follow along your lyrics with the word, which is really helpful in a recording session if you need to, you know, go to a certain lyric or a certain section really quickly. Up top, you have the ability to just move a lyric around by clicking on it and then dragging it. Um, if you need to move the word, you know, forward or backward just to line up with the music a little bit or that section. So that's the first step. Hey, if you don't know me, my name is Eric Miller and I help guitar players and home studio owners write and record great music. If you're finding value in this video, I would so appreciate it if you could subscribe. Okay, so step number two is to go to your editing window to create your actual lead sheet. So uh, what we're going to do here is I've created a brand new track, um, just called it Lead. Um, and then I'm going to double click on it and then it opens this window up here. Okay, let me make it a little bit bigger. You can see that it has everything, all the chords and all the tracks that automatically brought it over because if, over here in the sidebar, you have to make sure this little checkbox is checked off because it says show chords and it'll automatically bring the chords over from the chord track. Now what it will also do is bring the lyrics over. Um, so it's it's really cool. Let's let's just listen to that and you can follow along. Seems like every day I need you more. Each day a little more. So it'll follow along just like the chords with the track. So that's really cool and powerful. You can also go in and click in the notes. You know, if you wanted to add in notes, you could go back to your piano roll and then add in the notes or drag in a MIDI part if you had you know, specific notes you wanted to make like a real lead sheet from that. One other cool thing that you can do is um, if you want to create these little uh, slash markings which indicate you know how many beats you strum if you're playing guitar, how many beats are in each chord for each measure. All right, so what you do here is you go over to the piano roll and I just created, um, it's in 6-8 time, so I created six eighth notes and I'm just going to highlight them all. I just made it on C. It doesn't really matter. And I'm going to duplicate that uh, a bunch of times. Okay. So then let's go back into our score view and you'll see there's a bunch of C notes. Now if I just highlight all of these, 
you can right click on them and then click toggle slash toggle rhythm slash and then it'll automatically turn those into rhythm slashes which is really helpful if you have you know multiple chords for each measure you know knowing exactly when to switch the chords so so that's really how you do it and you can create a lead sheet instantly um, in only a few minutes now the last step is just to print them off so you click the print up here and you can easily print off a pdf file and hand it to your bandmate or your session or just have for your own records if you want to go deeper i have a brand new online community called the miller music club this is a place for songwriters uh, producers and guitar players to share their music to learn together and to collaborate and it's totally free to join you can join by clicking the link in the description below and i will see you on the next video Thank you.